The first year that I did the Queen of Pisgah series, it was a challenge. So the King of Pisgah, Queen of Pisgah series is um, a series of races in Pisgah Forest, and it's uh, trying to break you. I got muddy. I got cold. I wrecked. I cried a lot. It feels like you are constantly either falling or fighting the fall. I was like, this feels like a nightmare when you're trying to run away from something and you just can't. My first memory of Casey was at Pisgah Monster Cross and I remember just seeing her sitting at the finish just crushed. The thousand yard stare you have after a really hard effort. Within that series, I found friends. We all went in, we all suffered. There we were figuring our way out through Pisgah. So you know when you do something really hard, in the moment you're like, this is terrible, I hate this, and then after you finish, there's kind of like that sparkle, it's like, that was kind of great. It became fun. I'm messing up. <laughs> How not to mountain bike by Casey Armstrong. <laughs> you know, so I think someone like Casey, it kind of opened up the mindset of, holy crap, this is hard and I like it. I think Casey's propensity to suffer maybe comes from the tragedies in her life. My dad died. It was a long battle of alcoholism, drug use, and then he did overdose and he was a great person. Like, I think that's what's always forgotten about addictions, is that underneath that addiction, they are the best human. Depression runs my family. And I've had some dark moments where it's like, this feels like a lot of things like I can't get out of. Like, it feels like a really deep, dark hole. I have been in races at the Pisgah Productions. I'm crying, not because it's so bad, but just because everything is just like, hello, Casey, remember this heartbreak that you haven't dealt with? Like, this is the thing I've been running from. I'm gonna cry about this as I go up this trail. And then all of a sudden, Pisgah feels so loving because it's like giving me this moment to deal with stuff that like I don't wanna deal with inside. So Pisgah was there. Thank you, Pisgah. I don't think that she's running from something. Maybe at one point she was, but she shifted that into the most healthy of, of ways. I do think that emotional perseverance translates to being able to ride in Pisgah and enjoying it. What I feel happens in Pisgah is like you have to give it. Like if you're so focused on the finish line, you miss all of this enjoying Pisgah, like taking in every little trail. And I just remember going up the last climb to get to Black Mountain. And I was like, wow, I'm doing really good. I could win the Queen of Pisgah series. And that moment, like realizing that in my own head, I was like, oh my God, I've made it. Like finally, I get to get the bell buckle. I get to be the Queen of Pisgah. It took a few times to win it. And then you get to the finish and all of a sudden the finish seems so tiny compared to the memory of like the whole race, riding in Pisgah with my friends, all of those challenges. Now when you get around the fire, you have some really good stories. She seems fearless in a way because she knows herself well enough to know that if something bad does happen that she can handle it. That's what made me a good biker. It's grown me into this person that I never thought was even possible.